Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, going to be talking about Colin Kaepernick, his time in San Francisco as the starting quarterback for this team. Also, going to be looking at his future. Will another team sign him, give him another opportunity to play in the NFL? Just looking at everything going on, just because Kaepernick, he is in the spotlight right now. He was out of it for the, like the past year or two now, but he's coming back with everything going on around this world. And yeah, just want to talk about this. Remember people, if you're watching this, this is about his on-the-field career with the 49ers starting quarterback. As you all know, I do cover the 49ers. I didn't really cover too much when Kaepernick was the starting quarterback. I started YouTube around 2015, 2016. That's when we had our very dark times in San Francisco. So Kaepernick, it's kind of unfair to judge him just on that period. We should be judging him based on his 2012 Super Bowl run all the way until his final game in 2016 against the Chicago Bears. So yep, going to be talking all about that. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. This is not a political video. This is just talking about his on the field performance as the 49ers as quarterback and just sort of analyzing what he's done for us and also seeing his future projections as a future starter in the NFL if he is one if another team is willing to give him another chance all right so we're gonna get the video started if you haven't already please like this video please smash that like button I'm gonna keep saying that now from this point forward and every future video just smash that like button because everyone else wants to say it right I don't know I'm not really that creative anyways please like subscribe do all that cool stuff also bell notifications I recommend you guys turn that on so you guys get future notifications of future videos because YouTube sometimes don't, don't want to alert you guys on my future videos if you are subscribed. So having that bell notification helps out a lot. Let's get this started. Colin Kaepernick, this is going to be kind of a long video. Going to be talking about his career right now and also talking about his future in the NFL. All right, so now looking at his whole career in San Francisco. He took over for Alex Smith in the middle of the week in 2012 when he got a concussion against the Rams. And after that, Alex never became the starting quarterback for the 49ers ever again. Kaepernick, he took us to the Super Bowl that year, Super Bowl 47. He had some very memorable games that year. He was a lightning in the rod. He was a big shining star that year. He was a superstar essentially in 2012. Yes, you could say the defense did an amazing job. Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, Justin Smith. That was probably the prime of that awesome big fan Joe defense. But you still got to give Colin Kaepernick some credit for what he's done for us at that time. He had a great game against the Chicago Bears. And it's funny because his career pretty much ends in San Francisco against the Bears. But anyways, looking at it right now, Monday Night Football, he absolutely dominated them. National Spotlight. He had some great games following forward. And then the playoffs, he dominated against the Green Bay Packers. He had a nice comeback win against the Atlanta Falcons. And speaking of the Packers, I mean, they just don't have our number in this past century right now. In the 1990s, you want to talk about our kryptonite. It was the Cowboys and Packers. But now the Packers in 20. 2020s, their kryptonite is us. So that, that's, that's an interesting fact for you guys because look at the NFC Championship game, Raheem Mostert. Anyways, going back to Colin Kaepernick, Super Bowl 47, he leads us to that in our first year along with the defense. You got to give both sides of the ball credit for what they did. And he almost leads a comeback. We were down quite a bit before we had a blackout. If you all don't remember in that Super Bowl, it was a pretty long blackout. What was it, like 20, 30 minutes? And then the game goes back forward. He does a great job almost making a comeback. But we fall just a little bit short of winning that Super Bowl, 34 to 31. Unfortunately, that was our first Super Bowl loss in franchise history. When we won, we won five prior to that, but we lost our first one. It was disappointing, but the future was very bright for Jim Harbaugh, Colin Kaepernick. I think a lot of you guys at that time were very excited to see what he could do in 2013 and following that 2013 he had a great year for the most part his first game against the Packers I remember that I know right the Packers being mentioned so many times Aaron Rodgers what's with you against your childhood team anyways Colin Kaepernick he threw for, for 412 yards Anquan Borden was coming from the Baltimore Ravens of all teams it was a great year and they fall a little bit short in the NFC Championship game against the Seattle Seahawks 2013. They could have probably beat the Broncos, in my opinion, in that Super Bowl. I know that would have been a far-fetched thing to say now because the Broncos' offense was ranked first in league history in terms of scoring. But, I mean, the way Seattle had a great defense, we had a great defense as well. I, I think we could have beaten Denver in Super Bowl 43. But that's just my opinion. Colin Kaepernick, he was looking bright as well. I mean, to go to a Super Bowl in your first year, the NFC Championship game in the second year, that's pretty impressive right there. And then 2014, 2015 happens. Also, I want to talk about 2013 a little bit. I think I fault Jim Harbaugh for stifling Colin Kaepernick's growth or Greg Roman because they wanted him to be more of a pocket passer. But I believe his strength was running the ball and also throwing as well. I mean, to, be, to take away... His his ability to run, essentially. I mean, you look at the 2013 campaign, he was throwing the ball quite a bit more often than he was in 2012. I know you want to protect him, but at the same time, you have to play 
through their strengths. I mean, you look at the Baltimore Ravens this year with Lamar Jackson, Greg Roman. He decided to just use him as a running quarterback, essentially, and pass the ball. He's getting better at it. I think that's a really good recipe for success. But unfortunately, when he was with San Francisco as the offensive coordinator, they stifled his growth, in my opinion. So you have to give some blame to uh, the coaching staff for trying to stifle his growth. But at the same time, Kaepernick, he was still having problems reading quarterbacks or reading receivers, I should say. Number one, number two option. He but just had big problems with that for whatever reason. I don't know. His vision wasn't really the best. I think that's a big criticism for Kaepernick, a legit one. He had a great running ability. He had a great arm when he wanted to have a great arm, but just his ability to read his receiver options, I thought that was a criticism for him, and that's a pretty legit one right there. So 2013, as I said, that was a great campaign. Almost made it to the Super Bowl. 2014, that was when it went downhill, essentially. I mean, n- not all of it Kaepernick's fault, but he could have made more plays, in my opinion. Harbaugh, he gets fired at the end of 2014 uh, with the battle with Jet, uh, not Jed York, but Trent Baalke and York had to pick a side. He essentially picked Trent Baalke, and that was pretty much it in his career. 2015 was a pretty unmemorable year. I mean, I talked about this yesterday in my Dark Ages video, 2015, 2016. 2016, it wasn't the best year as well. He lost his job to Blaine Gabbert twice, essentially. 2015, he got benched in Atlanta. And then 2016, he got benched for Gabbert in the game against the Chicago Bears. And that pretty much ends his career in San Francisco. Very disappointing way to come out as one of the quarterbacks that took us to a Super Bowl, falling all the way down to essentially being a second string backup quarterback. That's just, oh man, it sucked right there because I was a huge fan of Kaepernick at that time. He did a great job for us in San Francisco. I thought he was going to change the game. A lot of you guys and a lot of analysts thought that he was going to change the game. Actually, Bleacher Report, I remember years ago, they were comparing him and Russell Wilson, who was going to be the better quarterback. Colin Kaepernick was actually the guy a lot of people picked. I picked him as well because, hey, San Francisco, right? But that ended up not being the case. But it's just really disappointing the way his career ended. I, I was... Um, you know, I don't know what else to say. Um, some things that went in, uh, in, not in favor of his time in San Francisco near the end of his career in 2015, 2016, I thought some plays that just kind of boggled my mind. I mean, I probably sent some links in the description for you guys. The game against the Rams, I mean, Torrey Smith, he was completely open against the Rams and the Rams, they just completely disrespected Kaepernick and he didn't see Torrey Smith as the open receiver and there was no quarterback or defensive back in front of him. It was just, I was like, this is it, man. It's not good right there. And then the, against the Bears, the 313 Bears uh, in 2016, he, being sacked five times, only throwing four or five passing yards. Really disappointing way. I know I keep saying that word a lot, but it's just a terrible way to end your career in San Francisco. And he's never played another down in the NFL ever since 2017, 2018, 2019. He never played uh, a down yet. 2020, he might get the opportunity. Anthony, Anthony Lynn and the LA Chargers are talking about having him come to their team and see if he can do whatever he can to get a job as a quarterback for the Chargers. You know, I'd be open to that. Anthony Lynn, he keeps talking about having him. You just got to sign him. That's all I can say to Lynn right now. If you believe in him, if you want to give him an opportunity, please sign him. And yeah, that leads me to the question, should an NFL team re-sign Colin Kaepernick? You know, I don't know. I mean, if you talk about the 49ers, definitely not. I mean, I think we have some great quarterback systems with us. We have Jimmy Garoppolo and Nick Mullins. I don't think Kaepernick is really necessary anymore. Maybe a couple years ago, but now we have a franchise quarterback, in my opinion. We have a great backup quarterback. There's just no reason to sign Kaepernick in the 49ers organization right now. You look at other teams, they could use some quarterbacks. I mean, I'd say like the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Chicago Bears, they could be maybe good options. I know they sign quarterbacks. I know Nick Foles is going to the Bears, but really, he's not really a regular season quarterback. He's a more of a playoff quarterback. The Jaguars, they just have a lot of problems going on right now. Maybe Gardner Minshew could be a great quarterback, but I don't know. Kaepernick, he... I think he can still be a viable player in the NFL. He can still be quarterback, but I think he needs the right supporting system. I think a team really has to give him an opportunity to play in the NFL. It's not just one of those things, a PR purpose, or we're going to sign Colin Kaepernick and then throw him in the wolves in a terrible team and then say, oh, there you go right there, people. He was a terrible quarterback this whole time with having the terrible offensive line, terrible receiving core. You can't do that. You have to give him at least a nice supporting system because he, remember, he hadn't played a down in the NFL since the 2016 season, so you got to say, Take it easy there if you want to really t- take him seriously as a quarterback for the, in, the, in the NFL today for 2020. So Kaepernick, you know, I'd love to see him get an opportunity, but will he get one? 
I don't know. That's a really tough answer right there. That's a really tough answer. I like to hear what you got to say about that, about Colin. Should he get another opportunity in the NFL? I personally would say yes, but, you know, it has to be a legitimate offer. It has to be something that a, an owner or a coach is willing to take a chance on. I don't know. I mean, a lot of teams might be spooked about him not being, not being playing for the past couple of years now. I think that's a big concern. Also, has his progression, reading progressions of defenses, has it gotten better? I think that's another question that they have to answer on the field. Remember, people, I'm not talking about political stances I'm not talking about anything off the field I'm talking about on the field play and Kaepernick as much as I love him as much as he's a great mobile quarterback it's going to be tough for him to get an opportunity I think in today's NFL hopefully he does hopefully they prove me wrong and give him a nice real shot at a job in the as a starting quarterback but it's going to be difficult for him love me some Kaepernick I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys loved him in 2012-2013 he was doing some great things for us he was making plays but at the end of the day, I blame him, the 49ers organization, Kaepernick for not being able to, to progress on defenses, coaching staff for trying to change him, what he's not. I think that's a big problem. That's kind of like the RG3 syndrome where RG3 was running around like crazy, but Mike Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan, of all people, they wanted him to be more of a passer. Well, it's actually more RG3. He wanted to be a passer. He wanted to be more known as the guy that can throw the ball in the pocket but that never worked out. I mean, you know, if you're a mobile quarterback, just use your talent, man. You look at Lamar Jackson right now. He's having great success. He was league MVP. Cam Newton in his prime, he was league MVP as well. Patrick Mahomes, league MVP as well. Well, he's not the biggest mobile quarterback, but he could be a mobile quarterback as well. I mean, Kaepernick was supposed to be what Lamar is right now, a great hybrid of a runner and throw of the ball as well but it never really materialized Russell Wilson ended up being the better quarterback in Seattle they have a better supporting system sure because it wasn't as toxic as it was in San Francisco at that time but Kaepernick he could have uh, shattered shattered the mold for other quarterbacks but unfortunately that didn't happen and you know it is kind of sad to see where he's at right now in terms of the NFL football field Hopefully he gets an opportunity, as I said. Hopefully some team gives him a chance to do something. But, you know, it has to be a really serious offer and somebody has to really take him under their wing. And he has to be a backup quarterback initially because that just wouldn't be fair for him to be a starter immediately unless the team was, like, very desperate for a quarterback right now. But, you know... And it is what it is. We'll see this season if anybody signs it. We'll see if Anthony Lynn was very serious about signing Kaepernick because he just keeps talking about uh, we're interested in Kaepernick. But you got to walk the walk as well, Mr. Lynn. And yeah, that pretty much ends the video right here, you guys. So please let me know what you guys think about Kaepernick. Should he be on an NFL team some way, shape, or form? Should, can he be a starting quarterback for an NFL team for the next year or two? I'd like to hear what you guys say in the comments below. If you guys like this, as always, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a Friday. I'll see you all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day.